All right, Doc Positive here at the Paws Veterinary Clinic. I'm here with Christy. I'm here with Lisa, and we're here with Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is a little female skipper key. Skipper keys are real high drive little dogs, very active, very alert. And this Tinkerbell is paralyzed. I don't know if you can see her back legs there sprawled out. Not much going on. She came into our office a while back, had been hit by a car. Uh, the owner wanted to put her to sleep at that time because he was upset that she was so upset. But Doc Positive convinced her owner that uh, she could do very, very well. These are strong-willed little dogs. And so I'm going to have Christy put her down on the floor here. She gets around, she's happy, she has no bladder control, and she has no bowel control, but she, uh, she moves around. Come on, Tink! Come on! Yes! But what we're getting ready to do is we're going to get Tinkerbell measured up. And what we're measuring her up for is a mobility cart. There's a couple of different manufacturers of mobility carts out on the market. And we are going to start her out with the basic one made of PVC pipe and some webbing. And if she does well with that, there's heavy duty carts that are made of aluminum, off-road capable. And so it depends on the dog how well they tolerate a cart. But she's small enough, she's manageable. So we're gonna get a cart, we'll have some follow-up video, but Tinkerbell is a happy camper. She's falling for our bait and switch cheese there. So she gets around, but we want her to get around and be able to uh, play with the rest of the pack, interact with the pack, and uh, have a little bit better lifestyle than she does right now. But, uh, by the way, she does now belong to Doc Positive, Christy, and Lisa. We have shared joint custody, so they do all the work and I have all the fun. Because uh, the owner didn't want a paralyzed dog. Uh, he didn't want to assume the cost for a mobility cart. So she is now a Paws Veterinary Clinic uh, mascot. Bye now.